Verse 43. When an unclean spirit is gone out of a man, the unclean spirit lives in the body of man. Only Jesus is capable of sending away from your body the unclean spirit. Should it be on someone putting on rag that puts on the clothes of the mad ones? The spirit, evil spirit is the name of her. Boom. Listen. He walked through dry places. Seeking rest. And finds no. Verse 44. Then he said. I will return unto my former home from whence I came out and when he's come he finds it empty swept it and garnished it if you don't acquaint yourself with God the unfamiliar spirits the moment your life is empty the spirit of rags the spirit of the unlocked world the spirit of indecent addresses will get into your life the spirit of idol idol that rents once naked there are some idols the red man naked there are some idols they are going to rent naked a glorious child you know what Jesus and your love is empty you stop praying you no longer read the word of God you don't even go to any church the evil spirits the spirit of idol the spirit that rent a glorious child naked the spirit that takes away the clothes from the glorious children will have their way into your life they will have their way in your life acquaint now thyself with God and you shall see peace and by peace good shall come unto you acquaint now thyself with God Swallow without Jesus his life is empty you that without Jesus your life is just empty your life is with his void an evil spirit will have its way into your life should your life be empty the spirit of uh, bleaching will get into your life it pains me today when I see youths male youths that their trusses are getting down are parting down from them the spirit of madness is in them when I see youths the hard dreadlock on his head as that of mad people is it not because the head of a madman is disarrayed the reason why he stopped combing the hair is it not because he's insane that he puts on the rag when I see the rag youths the youths that their head is spoiled already it pays me because in the end yes. lies the glory oh, yes. lies the glory in the hell yes, lies the glory every word you are to do every word you are to become all what you are to become in life in your future lies in your head oh, yes. from your head
Should you have spoiled your head? Are you at the Then your life is spoiled. Two men. They were seeking for employment into a company. When they got there, the, the owner of the company or the boss asked them to be called for. He wanted to see those who are here for work. These two boys, they had this kind of dreadlock on their heads. When the boss of the company saw them, then he screamed. Ole! Robbers! Ole! Robbers! Ole! Robbers! He started chasing them. And he took the person that brought them now told him where have you come with this uh, robbers where did you get these robbers and you intentionally brought robbers to me you brought robbers to me you that then he was implicated you have dreadlocks on your head you are having a head yes, sir. with a madman your, yes. your brain is, uh, is scattered yes. everything is turned upside down should you accept Jesus if you can learn at the feet of Jesus then oh, your yes. senses will come back to normal then and you dress properly. Yes. You dress up like a, a well church child. Male, female as well. You put on Harlot's uh, clothes. Harlot's clothes. Change. Evil spirit is in you. Listen to the word of God. And when it comes. And met also for it's empty. Anything is not right. So when I don't pray, are you a sofa? Slave is empty. Yes, so what do you have? Those who that don't read the Bible, are you a sofa? Yes, yes, and make them your one way. Evil spirit will have its way into your life. And you will have one way. Evil spirit will have its way into life. You are not a bit of your wife. Your life yes. is yes. Me and me if you want. This is why oh, yes. I have a swearing in you. This is why you beat up your wife. You are Jesus. You read the Bible. You praise. Oh, you won't beat your wife. You want your wife as well. That you abuses your husband. Your life yes. is yes. This is why you fight with your husband. Your life is empty. You don't pray. You don't read the word of God. The spirit of mad people's song. The spirit of mad people's dance. We enter your life. I was more so. I swear to God. Acquaint yourself now with God. Parents that are here, your children, acquaint them to God. Draw them near to God. Acquaint yourself with God. Acquaint yourself with God. You shall see peace. And by this, good shall come unto you. Verse 45. Then go at me. Take out with himself seven other spirits. More wicked than himself. And they enter in and dwell there. And the last state of the man is worse than the first. Jesus is powerful. Jesus is a powerful one. Jesus is powerful. If you accept him, send out from you the spirit.